Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akisha. I'm no stranger to high-end skincare products, but I also wanted to try high-end hair care. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my first experience trying Olaplex on my natural 4C hair. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on the channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed, and without further ado, let's get started. Into the products. I actually saw this kit on Sephora for their holiday sale, and so I got the pack of four for $90. I also then picked up two other Olaplex, Olaplex products to try the whole line. So starting off, my hair was already flat ironed because two or three weeks ago, I decided to straighten my hair so I could give it a trim. And so it was straight, bone straight for the first time in like three or four years. So I was really looking forward to seeing my hair revert because I was afraid that it wasn't going to. We're gonna start off with the Olaplex Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. This is number zero, which is supposed to prime, repair, strengthen, and protect all hair types. So the instructions on here say that you're supposed to apply it to dry hair in small sections, saturate from root to tip. Hair should be damp, not drenched. Leave on for 10 minutes and do not rinse. Apply a generous amount of number three perfector to saturated hair, wait 10 minutes, rinse, and then shampoo and condition. I'm going to section my hair. My hair is actually quite thin, so my sections, especially when my hair is uh, straight, tend to be a bit bigger. Ooh, okay, okay that is dripping everywhere. Definitely very liquid. It doesn't come out like a, like a spray, it comes out like a squirt. Oh yeah, I would definitely have preferred if it was more of a spray than like, like that, but okay. Same thing here. Oh no, like it is actually flying everywhere. Like my mirror is so dirty. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually gonna spray it in my hand and then put it in my hair because that is just gonna mess up my mirror. It's starting to revert slowly, but you know, we haven't even washed our hair yet, so that's fine. Um, one thing, it does have a scent. Like it's not fragrant or anything, but it smells like a chemical. <laughs> it smells chemically. It has a chemical smell to it. Like it has like a scent, but like it's not very strong. It's not like the worst thing in the world. I've used like this much to cover my hair. After 10 minutes, my hair felt a little bit exposed. Like it did not feel damp. And I think that is because I didn't put a cap on. I didn't put a, a, any type of like plastic cap on my hair so the moisture kind of dried out. So it's been 10 minutes. I actually, it's actually been more than 10 minutes, but <laughs> I went and put on some gloves because my nails were like catching in my hair and I don't want to be pulling out any more hairs than exist. Um, so we're going in with number three. This is the Olaplex repairs and strengthens for all hair types. Now this is supposed to be like just an after serum that you put on, it's its own mask. It says it's not a conditioner, it's a builder. The instructions say not to rinse out number zero and just put this on top. So I'm just using a face mask dome thingy, face mask cup. I'm squirting just enough to cover the bottom. And that's exactly what I'm gonna use for shampoo and conditioner as well. So here's what it looks like. Just a cream, it's quite light. It is starting to revert. My hair does feel a little hard though. <laughs> it says do not rinse though. I guess actually no water. Oh girl, I don't know. Cause if it says not to rinse, what if it's like water that's added that destroys the consistency or whatever. It feels very hard. It feels like my hair feels like I put a protein mask in or something. Like it's it's not very soft. And I know I'm wearing gloves, but I can feel it. 
Okay, anyways, so we're gonna go with a little bit of this, starting from the ends, and put it throughout the hair, just like that. But look at my hair, it's reverting. Wow, and I was afraid I was gonna get damaged. <laughs> It actually smells so good. Like it smells amazing. Now this is kind of like a detangling cream or like some sort of pre-shampoo that you would put on your hair to prep it for obviously your shampoo. First of all, it feels amazing, it smells great, glides on very easy as well. But I was a little bit confused as to how to use this, simply because the products say that you're not supposed to rinse your hair. So am I supposed to put water in my hair or not? I wasn't really sure. So I didn't want to take any chances and then decided to put a little bit more of the, protect, the, the number zero in my hair just to make my hair a little bit more damp. I really think that if I put on a cap on my hair at this point, it would have already been damp and I wouldn't have needed that, but I digress. I decided to spread in the product number three and my hair felt really, really soft. It actually started to revert already, so I was really happy about that. It wasn't completely reverted, but it was getting moist and starting to curl up again, so I really liked that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on a hair net just to keep some of the moisture in so it doesn't dry out. Probably should have done that the first time, but it is what it is. Just so I can keep in some of that moisture. Okay. I'm gonna put my timer on for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna meet you guys in the shower. After 10 minutes, my hair felt really soft and it actually was a lot more reverted than I thought it was going to be because my hair wasn't really that damp at this point. I detangled my hair just a tiny bit because I like to detangle before hopping in the shower just so that my drains don't get clogged with my shed hair. Um, but I hopped in the shower and opted for the number four bond maintenance shampoo. Now this is supposed to cleanse your scalp and hair while leaving your hair hydrated. I recently watched a video from a stylist and she was actually showing you how to properly shampoo your hair, meaning taking the balls of your fingers, putting your hand to the base of your scalp putting your hand to your scalp and actually like massaging your hair. You're not scratching your hair, you're not rubbing in circles, you're literally just massaging and kneading your scalp. And my scalp felt so clean. I was actually very surprised with this product because you do not need a lot of it to work. It is hella expensive, especially if you're buying this like not in a set but as its own. There's only 3.3 I think ounces in here. It's really small, but you really don't need a lot for it to work. I sectioned my hair into four. That's usually how I shampoo and condition my hair. And I was so surprised at how much it scented up. It has a beautiful scent, a scent that's not intoxicating though. Sometimes it makes me a little bit nauseous if things are too scented, but I think it had a really nice scent that really grabbed onto your hair so you can grip, grab, whatever the word is, really stays in your hair and makes it smell beautiful. Like, I love that. And my hair felt really clean. I shampooed my hair twice and um, my hair just felt really nice. It didn't feel stripped. It didn't feel dry or brittle or anything like that. It felt like I was washing my hair with a co-wash rather than a shampoo. But yeah, it felt really good. After shampooing, it was time for conditioner. So I use the number five bond maintenance conditioner. This is supposed to help hydrate your hair and make it more manageable. Once again, I'm very impressed as to how little of the products that you have to use. Like it does not take a lot for it to actually work on your hair. With conditioner, I'm someone who's known for just dowsing my hair in conditioner because I have really dry curly hair. And so for that reason, you do need a lot of conditioner. But yeah, I, I really did not need that much. I think I used about like maybe a quarter size of it. Um, in hindsight, for shampoo at least, you would use, you would need to use about a dime sized amount. Um, and then for conditioner, I think the quarter size amount was, was just fine. Rinsed out my hair with the conditioner after five or so minutes of doing my face and my shaving. Rinsing off the conditioner was such a pleasurable experience. It felt so nice. And honestly, I kept rinsing because I didn't know if it was out of my hair yet. Like my hair was that soft, which that's exactly what I'm looking for. Onto the deep conditioner, I use the number eight bond intense 
Moisture Mask. Now this is meant to treat damaged hair, add shine, smoothness, and intense moisture. This thing feels buttery smooth, like buttery smooth. Um, so I put it in my hair in its sections, used about a quarter size amount. Once again, I think I used maybe three or four pumps of this product. Put it all through my hair and then I put on a shower cap as well. At this point, I stepped out of the shower because I don't like finishing my shower routine until I'm completely done with my hair. Otherwise, rinsing off the conditioner or the mask that I have in will just clog my pores again. So I stepped out, I put some oil on my body and then put my little shower cap on. Kept it in my hair for about 10 minutes before hopping back into the shower. Um, okay, so I just popped out of the shower, did my skincare routine, my body care routine, and I actually went ahead and put in the main choice, soft as can be, three in one, revitalize and refresh leave-in conditioner, co-wash, and detangler. So I put this one in, because I actually did not get the Olaplex styling cream. So I just did this. I really didn't use a lot because I don't want my hair to be weighed down, but initially my scalp first of all feels so so clean after taking out the hair mask my hair felt really just like smooth it didn't feel dry it didn't feel stripped or anything but it also didn't feel like super buttery like usually when I do a deep condition with like Shea Moisture deep condition for example my hair feels just like butter but this may be because I did not use a blow dryer the blow dryer method so I'll do that again. I'll use the Olaplex again to see what that's like and if there's a difference. Just putting heat on your hair basically. We're going to go ahead and moisturize our hair. So I have my little DIY hair butter. This one is made from shea butter and a couple of other oils in here. So I'm going to use this to moisturize and of course I'm going to seal off with the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. As you can see, like my hair just looks so beautiful. I wanted to make sure that the background wasn't like white because I feel like it takes away from what my hair actually looks like. But y'all can see like the juice in my hair. It just looks so luscious and juicy and it feels so soft. I did trim my hair as well so the bottom is not like super super long anymore and this being like super super short and the ends look so much more healthy than they did before. A few drops in my hand like that, rub it in my hands and then I'm going to go ahead and gloss it over the hair as well. And that should help just seal all of that goodness in. I'm starting with the back. I am not gonna comb my hair. I already combed my hair today and detangled it. There we are. I wish I had like a lighter shirt so you guys could see more, but. I don't want to make my sections too small because it is actually 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm extremely tired because I have to get up at like 8, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the bonding oil before putting on the shea butter. I just put the shea butter on the end. Yeah, but I like that. I like that a lot. And the shea butter just adds more to the ends because after I cut them, like they get really, really dry for some reason. So a little bit more to cover the ends. And we'll go ahead once more. Now this is a piece that I accidentally cut off. Um, when I had the faux locks the very first time, I did a video on that. Taking it down, I accidentally cut it off like this far, so it has grown so much since then. That was last year, I think June. Um, I'm very proud of my hair <laughs> from growing back. All right, so there we are, all done. I am gonna get my butt to bed, <laughs> and then I will see you guys like two days from now. <laughs> Around the fourth day, my hair still felt really nice. It felt soft. It was um, very shiny as well. 
And at that point, I decided to re-moisturize my hair. So I wet it with a little bit of water, like a spray bottle, and then added a little bit more of my leave-in, which was my main choice, as well as the oil too. By the next wash day, I decided to change the way that I was using the products. I did put on a shower cap, uh, or a disposable shower cap, and the moisture stayed. So definitely if you're going to be using number zero, put on that shower cap, otherwise the water is going to evaporate and you're not going to get the same effect. So I put that on and my hair felt really good too. It kind of felt like I used rice water or some sort of protein mask in my hair. That's the best description that I can make of that. That's, that's, that's really what it felt like. Going on to using number three for the second time, this time I decided to spray my hair with water. I do think that you are supposed to put water in it. Maybe you're not, I don't know, and I'm not doing the directions properly, but I felt like it applied so much easier. You see how juicy these twists are? They are so moist. But moving on to shampoo and conditioner, same experience there. I loved the way it felt in my hair. It, 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 it was really, really beautiful, very nice. What I did differently this time was the intense mask. So the number eight, I decided to condition my hair with the cap on. This time I did use heat. I used like the blow dry attachment that you put on your hair, you know, the little cap and then it like hangs on to the blow dryer whatever you want to call it. I put that on, left it on for 30 minutes actually. And when I took that off, let me tell you, my hair was so, so juicy. Like my curls were just so beautiful. Like you can see my face here. I was really shocked. This is the type of moisture that I'm used to. So I definitely think it was just method using that little heat cap makes the world a difference. It really does. My hair was soft as can be. Like it was just oh, so silky and shiny as well. And even right now while I'm done like blow drying my hair, my hair kind of, it still looks really shiny as well. It looks very moisturized. Um, this time after cleansing my hair, I used the Whey Leave-In Conditioner because I wanted something lighter, so whey leave-in conditioner, and then I put in the TGIN Sweet Honey Hair Milk. Then I put the oil in my hair and blow dried. Once that blow drying was done, only then did I add the shea butter to my ends and my scalp, and I think that really helps just make it feel light. I'm gonna be putting in braids in as well, so I wanted to make sure that I'm using the shea butter to keep the moisture in my hair. But I think we're starting off with some good, clean, moisturized hair. My hair looks so much longer than it did before, you guys. It's growing. <gasps> Finally. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to section my hair and I'm going to start braiding. But I wanted to pop on here and show you guys what she looks like. I look a little crazy right now because I literally just took it out of some twists that it was in. Um, but yeah. <laughs> all in all, I think this routine is a lot of work, <laughs> there's a lot of steps. Actually, number zero, number three, and number eight. Um, those are not kind of like everyday type of products. For me, I only wash my hair once a week, so it's not that big of a deal. If you're someone who washes your hair more than once a week, you may just wanna use the shampoo and conditioner. But for me, like my wash days, I already know what the deal is. We already know that wash day is gonna take at least four hours. So I already set across that time. I know that that routine is extensive. So I, I actually kind of like having a, a more extensive, intentional routine, right? That's the word. I, I do like it. I think it is a little bit expensive, especially if you're gonna get full-size products. But I think that every person should use it at least once because it makes the world a difference. Once in a while, give yourself a nice treatment, treat your hair. It, it's good to just indulge yourself. I would recommend this for 4C hair. I think it's definitely worth it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried Olaplex on your natural hair. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, go ahead and click over here to see some of my, go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye.